All right, good day. Up next, number 17 on the January 2020 paper, utility bills question. And this is, for me, is one of the harder money questions that they're going to have longer. So even though I normally do tell you to rehearse or revise a question, you only have one like this right now. And if you could rehearse it or revise it, it'll save a lot of time. But we're going to go through it anyway. So a man pays 60 cents for every 200 cubic meters of gas used. So this is a country where they have um, gas pipes and they pump that gas into the houses similarly what they would like to do with water when they put a meter out in front of your house for water and for this 200 meter cube of gas they pay 60 cents and have a fixed charge meeting where they use zero meter cube for the month or a thousand cubic meters for the month that come like a connection fee that you always have to pay all right so we'll come back to that in a little while you want to know how much does he pay when he uses 55,000 cubic meters of gas so first of all they charge 60 cents for every 200 cubic meters so i really need to see how many 200 cubic meters make up 55,000 cubic meters. So I need to divide that by 200 to see how much of them it have. So these are going to cancel out 2 into 550. However you want to do it, I'm going to end up with 275. So they have 275, 200 cubic meters make up 55,000. And for each 200 cubic meter I have, I have to pay 60 cents and I have 275 of them. So I need to multiply that by 60 cents, which is just 0.6. So I have different ways I could do this now. So I could do it like this, 275 by 6, and I'll put back the decimal after. 6, 5 is 30, 7, 6 is 42 at 3, 45, 6, 2 is 12 at 4, 16. And I had one decimal point to put back because I end up putting the point here when it really should be here. So I'll bring it back a space. So 165 is for the gas that I use. And next way I could do this before I come back to the answer. This is not the answer, by the way. We'll come back to it in a while. If I don't like to use decimals, I could use fractions sometimes if the number could be written as a fraction. So 0.6 is really 6 tenths or 3 fifths. So if I wanted, I could say 275 by 3 fifths, meaning now I have 5 into 275, which for some people, they like to do it with fractions instead. 5 5 is 25. 5 5 is 25. So it'll be 55 by 3. I'm still going to get 165. That's the price of the gas though. You have to remember now to add the fixed charge even though you're seeing the 165 there. This fixed charge is something I always have to pay so I have to add that 13.75 to my answer. And that's how my answer coming up to 178.75. So again, this question is a little more difficult without your calculator. So if you can remember it, it's only have one like it and that's if it comes as well because out of the eight money topics that they have, they'll mix it with different money topics. So we don't know which mix of questions you're going to get. So let me look at some more utility bill questions here. Another popular one, same idea though. A plot of land is valued at $18,000. Land tax is charged at the rate of every $100 worth of land I have, I have to pay 70 cents. Just like for every 200 cubic meters, I have to pay 60 cents. So same idea. I need to see how much $100 bills make up 18,000. So let me see how much hundreds could go into 18,000, zeros payoff. So if I had a stack with 180 $100 bills, that's eighteen thousand dollars and for each one hundred dollar bill i have I had to be 70 cents so since i have 180 of them i multiply that by 70 cents so again like before you could have multiply by seven over ten so that'd be 18 by seven 126 and again they have another similar question to that one with the contents insurance and the house insurance so the house insurance is for every hundred dollars worth a house you have the price of the house you pay 50 cents in tax and the, inside the house the contents that we have are paying 25 cents for every hundred dollars so here i have a house worth 50,000 so let me see the tax on the house so i need to see how much hundred dollar bills make up 50,000 so if i had a stack of 500 hundred dollar bills sorry 500 hundred dollar bills i would have fifty thousand dollars and for each one of those i have to pay 50 cents and again 50 cents really means a half so half a 500 250 for the house alone and now for the contents let me see how much hundred dollar bills make up ten thousand so again a hundred hundred dollar bills make up ten thousand and in this case for each hundred dollar bill i have to pay 25 cents tax so a quarter 100 or 100 by 0.25 25 dollars so the total tax for house and the contents that inside the house 250 so i'm gonna write the five a little better plus 25 275 and again just to show you and that's why I have my little note at the side there, see January 2014. So I'm going to pull up January 2014 right here. It looks like the exact same question, but it's not. You realize now they switch 
the house insurance price and the content insurance price. So instead of paying 50 cents per 100 for the house and 25 cents for the, the contents, here paying 25%, 25 cents for the house and 50 cents for the contents and again a different answer. So these are the slight variations you need to look at in a question if you're going to just rehearse the answer because CXC does tend to um, change it up a little bit because they know the papers in circulation as I would have said before. So to throw you off, you're just going to revise a question. They will have similarities, not for all, because they can't do it for all the questions, but for some of the questions, they would do this to throw off who not actually going to do the question and just try to rehearse the answer. Up next, appreciation and depreciation.